Hello everyone, welcome to today's show. Today we are going to talk about a topic named X macros. And in order to explain what X macros uh, are, I'm going to start by showing an example. So let me just start everything up like so I'll create a new file named xmacros.c xmacros Okay, imagine you have a list of something, let's say a different fruit. So, list of fruits. And we have like, um, let's say, apples and, uh, yeah, I need to do it like this x and then apples and x let's do a couple of these My keyboard is isn't always doing what I want it to. I think it's because I have a too long uh, USB cable, so the signal gets too weak. Uh, all right, so let's say we have apples and oranges and uh, pears. What else? Uh, kiwis, perhaps, and uh, I don't know, bananas. Something like this. And notice that I put this X in front of them. So I had this list, and I want to turn them, so each and every one of these, I want to substitute uh, something by creating functions so for example I want to create a function named apples function and let's just have a single return for now so that's one thing I want to do for each and every one of these. And then inside of main, I want to create a, an, um, a char variable named apples var. And then I want to point this apples var to the string literal of apples okay so this is what I need to have done and, and as you can see I have apples here and here the beginning and the beginning of the variable and inside of the string so inside of the string that can be done with a loop right so if we were to have something like an array of pointers which we could call fruits we could do something like um, well apples and etc 
and then just point the index right here. That's no problem. But what about defining the variable name? We can't use this inside of a, of a loop. And we can't substitute this either. And same with this function definition. We can't use that. But with x macros, we can. So let's see. Let me show you what I mean. Because I don't. I want this to be done every step for each and every uh, thing in this list. So let's clean this out. Uh, by the way, le let uh, let us keep it for now. So we can use it as a template when we create this stuff. Okay, so we begin by defining the list like this. With a uh, standard uh, uh, constant definition. And we need to use this backslash at the end of the lines. So the preprocessor can use this as one definition. And then we call this x function or rather it's a macro so this x macro for each and everything in this list but we haven't defined this x not yet anyway now when we want to use this in this function now we define what x is so what is x well x is a function like macro with one argument and what do we do with that argument well we put it right here and then we use the concatenation uh, keyword or operator uh, in order to mash this argument together with this uh, string or String is not the right word in this case because it's not a string, but I think you know what I mean. And since this is a macro definition, we need to use these. And when we are done with this instance, we undefine it. Undef x. So we define x as this and then we just undefine it then we come to the next instance what do we do now well we define another x and this time we put the argument right here and same as before, we need to concatenate this. And then we undef it. And finally, this third occurrence. We do define x arg. And this will not be apples, this will be arg concatenated and then we need to transform this apples to a string literal and then I think we use one of these uh, operators like this and then we undefine x once again if we save this and and we run uh, CPP, that is the C preprocessor -pre command line tool. If you don't have that installed and you're using Debian Linux, you can just install it with apt-get installed CPP. And there's uh, similar commands for other operating systems as well. And in order to use it, the easiest way 
is to make sure that you don't have any includes and then you just do cpp and the name of this okay so let's see 19 19 that's right under x let's try it again Okay, so let's see. Doesn't seem to give me the output I was expected. Let's see what happens if I compile this. It does compile. But it's it, it doesn't do any output so it's a little bit tricky to see if it if it worked or not let's see how can we test that well we can do something like if we do apples function and let's just send the variable and that'll be uh, let's take another fruit pears uh, bar this should fail both because this and this if this x macro doesn't work so let's see what happens do a cpp first still doesn't it's an apples function pairs bar oh, let's see what happens if we compile this warning implicit declaration of apples function didn't work as I intended let's see define oh right I forgot uh, let's see define x arg uh, Define x or we didn't call the the list of fruits right that's why so we do when we when we define it we do it like this and when we use the x macro this is correct but we do need to let's see define do 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 and before we undef we need to just call this list of fruits and same here list of fruits otherwise it won't run the macros list of fruits remove this okay so let's try this again. Let's do the CPP X macros dot C. Okay, we did get a couple of warnings. What does it say? Pasting star and apples does not give a valid pre-processing token. What else? An expansion of macro. Pasting star. Uh, okay, it seems that's only one error. So let's see if we can fix that. 
It doesn't like that we concatenate in this case. Perhaps we just do arg like this. Let's do a space to safeguard. Let's run CPP. Okay, so let's see what it made out of this. So void apples function, return, void oranges function, return, void pears function, all the way. And then instead of main, char apples var, char oranges var. And we assign apples var to apples, oranges var to oranges. And then we try to run this function. So does it compile? does compile and it runs it's uh, it will not show any output because our function doesn't do anything right but as you can see it compiles and it transforms uh, everything exactly as intended I hope you like this content and there will be uh, more C videos coming out uh, like uh, every fifth day or so so if you uh, if you want to see the, those please uh, use the red button on the bottom right of your screen in order to subscribe and if you like this uh, hit the like button and uh, that's all for today thanks for watching and thanks for today